This is GabNet, the great American broadcast network. Talk like you've never heard it before. Hey, everybody. I got to turn my mic on here. Hold on a second. There we go. There we go. Okay. I'm learning how to ho- use a whole new uh, setup here. Uh, we're, uh, we're trying something tonight. Let me, let me explain this. First, let me check and make sure we're going out like we should be going out. Let me uh, check here. Uh, no, we don't, we don't have... Um, um, we don't have... Uh, we're not going out on Facebook Live because I forgot to push the Go Live button. There we go. Um, anyway, uh, I could I could try to start it again, but uh, why why should I do that? I don't know. Maybe I should do that. Anyway, uh, let me uh, get out of this and go back to that. Okay, there's always something you forget. We're, what we're doing is something a little bit different. Uh, we're testing this out because uh, we are uh, we want to see if uh, in fact we we can make it work. And I'm going to look now. Uh, first, I'm looking over at uh, f- a Facebook. I got that. Okay. Now I'm looking at, um, let me see here. Uh, no, it doesn't look like that's live. Son of a bitch. Uh, we're not, we don't seem to be going out on, uh, on Periscope. Uh, but uh, let's see here. We are going out on, uh, we are going out on YouTube. We may be going out on Periscope. I don't know. Uh, let me try this again. Periscope. Uh, Periscope TV. Uh, a Bennett 210. Let's see what happens here. Okay. Um, oh, here we go. It says Alex Bennett was live yesterday. Oh, Bennett is live. There we go. I, in fact, if I were to be able to move this camera a little bit here, you could see. So we're on. Uh, let's see here. We're there. We're on uh, on Periscope. Uh, we're on um, YouTube. There we are on YouTube. Uh, we're on uh, live stream. See, we're on live stream. And uh, we go over here and we're on Facebook Live. Well, I've got to start this up again. We're on Facebook Live. Let's see if that works okay. I have no idea. We'll keep working. Anyway, so we're on all these different, uh, these different uh, systems. Uh, this is courtesy of Livestream. Livestream uh, now allows you to use their studio program, which is a little more complicated than the program I've been using. And uh, I mean, I can do uh, spiffy things like uh, like this. I think. Yep. See that? Ah, how about that? Huh? Isn't that nice? Anyway, uh, that's a good idea of what we can do here. Uh, but this is a whole new system, and uh, it uh, it uh, it's something I have to get used to. Now I. I, the other thing that's different is I have the uh, Skype on another line here. And our lines are open, by the way. So if somebody would like to just call me, I would really appreciate it so we can test this thing out. We could use, if we could get like two or three people at least calling me, uh, we'd, uh, we'd be able to, uh, to test it out fully and make sure it really works. So here I am twiddling my thumbs, waiting. I don't know if anybody will call. We'll have to wait and see. We could get like uh, let me see here. I have to turn something off here. Where are we? Where is that coming? Oh, I see. Okay, we got to mute that tab, and we got to mute that tab. Therefore, and we better mute this tab as well. Okay, now I don't think I, I have any sound. Okay, good. Uh, because what's going to happen now is I, if you call uh, Skype, and our Skype number is... Uh, uh, Gabnet Live. That's all you need to do is Gabnet Live, and we we can test this out. Uh, if not, uh, I'll just sit here and cry because I'm, I I sent a note to a few people and to see if they would call, and I don't know if they are or they aren't. And it says my audio is peaking, so let me make sure it doesn't peak. Okay. Anyway, uh, where are we? So anyway, so this is a whole this is a whole new system, whereby I can. Uh, Put this out to live stream. I can put this out to YouTube. 
I can put this out to Facebook Live, and I can put this out to Periscope all at the same time. Now, isn't that spiffy? Okay. And now all I need are some callers to call me. And wait a minute, somebody is trying to call me, but I, I don't hear the... Oh, there we go. There we go. I had to figure out where the sound was. Let me see here. Is this Tom Yamaguchi? Oh, Phil, Phil, Phil Meyer is calling. Hello, Phil. Are you there? Phil? Are you there? Huh. Come here. Let me see here. Uh, let me see here. Um, why don't we try calling Phil? What, what is the problem here? I've got a problem. Okay, okay, here comes Tom Yamaguchi. Okay, so I go, hello to Tom Yamaguchi. Hello. And there he is. Wait a minute, hold on a second, and let me uh, let me bring you up. How do I do that? I go to, is this, do I go to seven, seven here? No, no that's, that's, oh, I also have a camera over here, which is in a different place. Uh, but wait a minute, let me go to, um, hold on a second. Uh, go to uh, uh, GF1. Uh, hold on a second. While I, uh, 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 I say hello to Rob Alfano. Uh, there's Rob. Wait a minute. But Rob, why? Oh, boy. Call back, Rob, will you? Do us, uh, do us a call back. i got to go back to Tom Yamaguchi. I did something wrong there. Uh, let me see here. Tom, I, oh, no. This isn't, uh, this isn't working that way. Son of a bitch. And it says call on hold. Um, hold on a second. Uh, this, this, yeah, this is this is an old. This is the new. This I'm using the Mac here, and that's a that's a problem. Hold on a second, Rob. I'll call you back. Okay, I'll call Rob, and uh, let me see here. How do I how do I call him? Um, no, but, uh, Rob, I can't take your call. I can't take your call. Hold on a second. How do I do this? That, uh, it doesn't allow me to call. Huh. Uh, Carter Bing. Okay, add to call. Uh, let's see here. S Skype Carter Bing. Okay. Um, all right, it, it, you're still there, right? Uh, let me see here. Let me also, I've got to figure out which one of these do I put this on to, to get it uh, uh, on here. Uh, Hello, can you guys hear me? Yeah, hi, Carter Bing. Okay. Oh, hello, hello, Carter. Can you hear us? Hello? Yeah, I, now I just got to figure out which one of these I go to to put the remote up. There we go. Um, uh, yeah, okay. I can hear you. I don't think Alex can hear us. Though. I can hear you. Can, Who's this? Can you hear me, Tom? Uh, my name is Carter. Okay. I watch the show. I never call in. <laughs> oh. Tom, can you hear me? Tom, can you hear me? I was a lot of video conferencing, and uh, I was curious as to see what type of uh, hardware and software he was using to do this. Uh, wait a minute, hold on a second. I got a problem with Rob Alfano. Uh, let me see here. Off for Rob Alfano. Can you hear the guys hear me? Can you can you hear me at all? Well, you see Alex, right? Can you hear me? Alex and I see you. I don't have a camera hooked up. So no, yeah, right. I, what I see is a CB. Yeah, that's right. But you can't, you can't hear me. A circle with CB in it. No, okay. Wow. Why can't I call Rob? Hmm, this is amazing. So where do you live, Carter? I'm in North Carolina. Uh, oh, okay. All right. Yeah, I called the show about who? About three years. Oh no! Now that back went off. Now I'm having trouble getting other people attached to this thing, Rob. So hang up, okay? Uh, let me get rid of him. Let me get rid of him. I'm having uh, all kinds of. Well, this is why I'm doing this tonight. Uh, let me see here. Let me go to these guys here. Uh, these calls were on hold. And now they're not anymore. What, what, <laughs> there, there, there we go. Can you guys hear me? Can you hear me? Yeah. Oh, okay. Can you hear me? Okay, it looks like he's back. You, you can't, can't hear me. You can't hear him. No. You can't hear me. Uh, let oh, me. No. I'm, I'm wondering why you can't oh, hear me. Hold on a second. Let me let me look at the Skype preferences. Yeah, uh, I'm hold, hearing you on my phone. Okay, yeah, but uh, we don't want you to hear me. I'm supposedly the audio is going out to the to Skype. So I don't know what this is all about. Because uh, you should be getting me on Skype. Okay. Oh, I know what the problem is. Can you guys hear me now? Yes, we can. Okay. Good. All right. Now I got to. Uh, I've got to do this. Okay. So they can see you guys. And now I've got to figure out how to get to Rob Alfano. Everybody, stick with me for a little bit here. He, I can't get to him. 
Phil Meyer, I can't get to him. Why can't I call Phil Meyer back? That's weird. That's strange. Huh. Because I was able to call you guys back. I was able to call Carter back. Uh, and I don't know what that is about, except that uh, this should be working like in the old days, but it isn't. Uh, this I'm using the Mac tonight is what I'm doing. What is that picture you've got there, Carter? That uh, Do you have a picture for yourself? Uh, it should be showing. Oh, that's a classroom. It, it worked. Yeah, turn on, turn on the video. See, Phil, I can't, I can't get you on. Uh, boy, how do I add this to a group? I can't do this. Uh, I'm, I've got a problem here. I'm trying to get Phil uh, attached here, but I can't. because I should be able to call him back. That's the weird part about it. Phil Meyer. Uh, send a show profile, add the favorites, rename. Uh, none of this is working here. Son of a bitch. It's this damn Skype for Mac. Um, hmm. I'm calling you from a Mac. Uh, I know you're calling from me from a Mac. Uh, that, uh, can you turn on your camera? I don't have a camera hooked up. Oh, you don't have a camera hooked up. Okay. Oh, boy. Why? This is a real problem with, uh, with Skype on this, on, on this machine. Uh, I thought it'd be fine. I thought, you know, shouldn't it work the same on a Mac as it works on anything else? And it's not doing that. And I'm trying to, let me see here. Uh, let me go to, let me go to my contacts and let me see Phil Meyer. Where do I have Phil Meyer? Do I have Phil Meyer here somewhere? Uh, Phil Meyer, Phil Meyer, Phil Meyer, Phil Meyer. Oh, come on, Phil. Where are you? L M. Uh. I better put my glasses on. Um, this is uh, let me let me turn my picture on here so people can see uh, what I'm doing. Also, uh, let's go to uh, uh, camera that camera and go here like this. Yeah, there we go. Okay, and I'm going here uh, six. Okay, now let me let me. Are you guys still there? Yeah. Okay, stay there. I'm trying, trying to find Phil Meyer on my list. Uh, or it would be under P, I see. These are all in alphabetical order by first name. H I J K L and N O P. L M N O P. Phil. Come on, Phil. Where's your number? Phil. N O P. Phil. Phil Meyer. There we go. Now let's see here. Let me see if I can call him. No. For some, some reason, reason I can't, can't add this call. Add to call. That's weird. Okay, let me. Oh boy, what am I gonna do here? Um, I'm gonna hang up, guys, and then I'm gonna I'm gonna reboot this uh, ga this uh, this uh, Skype. Okay. Okay, because uh, I'm having problems here. Okay, let me see here. Let me also get rid of those guys. Close. Yeah, come on, close. Here, fuck you, Jesus. Sure, you want to close the conversation? Yes, I didn't ask you to close the conversation if I didn't want to close the conversation. Okay, now I'm going to turn off Skype. Let me turn off Skype. Okay, quit Skype. Okay, oh, now it's a join call. This, this. Quit Skype. Come on. Quit Skype already. Now I now get the beach ball of death, folks. That's what I'm getting here. Oh, you fucking motherfucking cocksuckers. Oh, that's wonderful. Okay, let me see here. Where is Skype? I'll just go force quit. And that should do it. Okay, now I will uh, try and um, do this again. Go into Skype. Start it up. Let's see what happens. Okay, it wants my password. Sign in. Okay, all right. Well, you know, usually it should allow me to call those people, and I couldn't call those people, and I don't know why. Anyway, 
online. Now let me see. Phil Meyer. I put his name up here. Ah, I can call Phil. Here comes Rob Alfano. Okay. And I say, hello, Rob. How are you? You got a, I want to tell you, you got a problem. What? Your problem is that when you are on your camera and you're, and, uh, and you're on Facebook, when you're on your camera, I hear two of your microphones. It sounds out of phase. When you turn off your camera and you're on, and you're on the screen of Skype, I only hear one microphone. So you hear two microphones with me. With when your camera. I know. I, I I wonder how it is now. Let me see if. Is I it better can... now? Is it better now? Let's see. Is it better now? Hello. Can it's you still hear? The same. It's still the same. Still the same. There's an echo with me. Hmm. Well, that's strange. Hold on a second. Let me do one other thing. Hello. How's that? Is it still the same? Still the same. How is it now? Is it still the same? Is it still the same? It's all still the same. It sounds like there's two of you. Yeah. I don't know what that problem is. Uh, audio one. Return. What, switch, what, switch off of me. Yeah. Now, yeah. Yeah. Let me see here. Let me, Phil's calling, so let me call him back. Hold on a second. Add to call. There we go. And there's Tom Amaguchi, and I'll stop him, and I'll add him to the call. Add to call. There we go. And there, people are all trying now to... Now, I'm, it, it, we're, 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 uh, on Facebook Live, I'm getting two... Uh, and now, I wonder why that's happening. Okay, let me turn this off. How's that? Is it better? Is it better? Has it changed? Has it changed at all? Okay, then I think I know what the problem was. Uh, tell me this: it, how how is uh, how well? How is it now? Is it okay? Is it all right? Is all the sound okay? All right. Hello, can you hear me? Yeah. There we go, and let me do this. Okay.
Oh, here we go. Well, that's off. Okay. All right. All right. Now you, sh you should start getting sound. You see. There we go. There you go. Okay. Ah. And, okay. It, and, and it's not echoing or anything. It's perfect. Yep. Okay. I'm learning. This is a whole new uh, a whole new thing. I'll show you. It's a whole new... Um, uh, where Where is the... Uh, oh, wait a minute. Let me get this up here. So that I can I can show you guys. Let me see which camera is the. I think this is the. Um, that's yeah, the Skype the, camera. yeah, that's the Skype camera that you see. You're seeing with. See here. See, it's a whole new deal. It's oh wow. Very confusing. <laughs> and a lot to set up. Okay. Is that a new board? Hmm. Is that a new board? What do you mean? Is it a new board? Is that uh, 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 is that the old one or the new one? It, no, it's the old board down here. That's just the uh, you know the uh, video setup is different. Uh, I can show people out there as well, so they don't feel they're being left out. See, see what I'm talking about? Very uh, very confusing, but I'm you know it takes it takes uh, a little. There's a, an odd noise coming through. I don't know what that so is. Loud. It's somebody. It like it's a jungle. <laughs> It's no, it's one of you guys. Uh, is it uh, is it you, Carter? Yeah, it might be. Let me adjust this mic. Somebody have a bird? <laughs> it's uh, <laughs> sounded like there was a bird in the room. Yeah. Uh, let me see here. Hey, is that go. any better? Huh? Yeah. I still hear the bird though. You still hear yeah, the bird? It's, yeah, it's a, coming from another room. Oh. Let me let me go kill that. Oh, okay. No, 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 don't kill don't the don't kill the bird. <laughs> I don't want to be accused of killing a bird for crying out loud. Uh, let me see here. Where are it's we? Oh, there we go. If it was a regular show, we'd have you kill it. Oh, okay. <laughs> right. Let me see here. I want to adjust to something. Anyway, um, let me see here. In case people are tuning, oh, Marshall Goldberg is calling. So, Marshall, I will hang up on you. And then I will call you right back here. There we go. Add to call. Skype. There we go. Okay. Uh, it should be going. If not, he's yeah, it's trying to call Michael back. Uh, I'm trying to figure out something here. I have to. I want to do something, and it's a matter of this and doing that, and then making my picture. Oh. My picture is, is it bigger? Where is it? There, no. Oh, I'm trying to, um, yeah. I actually have to make it smaller. Um, hmm, I, I'm trying to do my picture and, and I'm, I'm not able to, uh, I'm not able to do it. Am my I not able picture. to see you on Facebook because I'm on a uh, iPhone on the Facebook? Or uh, I have uh, no idea. I have no idea. Uh, All I know is it is playing on the Facebook. Yeah. Uh, so can everyone else see Alex on the Facebook or just the other four? I just see the other four. Okay. Yeah. So the same same with me. Yeah. I, and I, I thought maybe it was because of the landscape. Uh, you're, area. You're, you're not seeing. You're seeing me. Oh, you're, you're, you're no. You no. guys. You guys no. can see me though, right? Uh, on you Skype. on Skype. Yeah, on Skype. Uh, you won't. Yeah, you you won't see me on um, uh, Facebook. Facebook yet. Hold on a second. I'm trying to. Uh, I'm trying to figure. See, I got to figure out how to get this uh, over there. Uh, yeah, I got the remote. I got the da 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 da. Uh, GF one, camera one. Wait a minute. Wait, wait, which one is this supposed to be? Oh, there it is. Okay, I got to go do something here. Hold on. Um, I am, this is, you know, these are all the things that you forget to do. I, ha I don't have it as an input. Oh, well, I do have it as an input. I do have it as an input. Okay, save. So where is it? GF2, yeah. And uh, how does that come up? How do I, oh, I see what, what I need to do. Uh, GF2, there we go. There we go, and then if I go auto, uh, we should have me in the picture. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm kind of interrupting uh, the face of Mr. Meyer there. There you are. Yeah. Okay, okay. now I got gotcha. you. Yeah, 
but I, I want to change the way that looks because I, I'm, I'm interrupting his face too much. Look, I even have a drop shadow on mine. Oh, uh, yeah, look at that. Yeah, shadow box. Yeah. Uh, uh, mm -hmm. Doesn't really matter. There we go. A forehead showing that even if you interrupted the face, they'd still see plenty of it. <laughs> huh? I have enough forehead showing that if you interrupt my face, they'll still see plenty. <laughs> oh, I, I, I see. Okay. If that's your... Uh, let me see here. Oh, I see what I'm doing wrong. Okay. Here. Uh, there we go. Boom, boom, boom. Oh, no. I don't want to be that small. Okay. So if I do that, and then I go over here, and I double-click on... Uh, this, I guess, or no, not that, the other one. There it is. There's so much on this board that I don't know what I'm doing. Okay, so please excuse me, folks, if this is taking a little bit of time. There we go. Okay, so now I'm just a tiny little box down in the bottom. Yeah, very small. You know, people love it when we do this sort of thing because we have all kinds of viewers on this deal. Plus, we're going out right now on Facebook Live. We're going out on... Um, uh, Periscope, we're going out on YouTube, and we're going out on, uh, on, on live stream, all at the same time. Very nice. And uh, well, how software much? software are you using to do that? Huh? I'm, what uh, are you well, using? I'm, I'm using live stream, and they have a thing called Studio, and literally okay. I can get all of these various things running at the same time. Uses up a lot of CPU, however. I'm up around 64% on my CPU usage. Is that the older uh, iMac? Or no, older I'm not Mac using the Pro? iMac. I'm using a PC. A PC is doing this. Oh, I thought you said you were I, using I'm using the MacBook Pro for the picture. Ah. The pic I'm doing all the, uh, all the Skype on the MacBook Pro. All the video is being done on the PC. I see. And I have uh, the, the Mac set up as a remote camera, so to speak. And that's why people are seeing it. And I, the picture's quality is very good. I'm very happy with that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you know, so uh, yeah, that, and that's why I do this as a test because I warn everybody, folks. You know, this may not be entertainment as you generally know it, but you know, I find people find this terribly entertaining because it it, uh, it it's sort of Schadenfreude. They like to see people having problems. <laughs> it's the same as seeing a car broken down on the side of the road. Yeah, and everybody yeah. Stops. and then you, you know you stop and you watch the guy try and fix it, and somebody has an idea of how to fix it, and somebody else has an idea of how to fix it. And look, if you look look at this right in back of us, Carter has the screen that's going out, right, oh, Carter? Yeah. Carter, yeah. can you hear me? Yes, I can. Hear you. Right in back of you, you've got you've got what is that? Yeah, I pulled I pulled you up on YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> it's very Escher like. Yeah. <laughs> but now we got it working, you know. What what the hell? Life is good, right? Now does live stream charge extra for the service? Uh, uh, uh here's here's what they did. Uh and I complained about them for a while. Um they were um they had this deal where they were uh, um charging me 49 bucks a month which i was grandfathered into okay because the price has gone up uh but i was grandfathered into that so they they uh, oh hey marshall goldberg uh, is coming hey, up hey, hi marshall hey. how are you uh and i complained about them for a while well, who? uh he's got they his own. Were, uh, they had this deal where they were uh um marshall do you have your feet on Month, which I was grandfathered in. Yeah, hold on. Uh, oh, oh, I see. That, that's yeah. me. I thought it was him talking. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, anyway, well, I was probably listening to it on Gab. I was waiting for you to say turn to uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I was grandfathered into it. And is this uh, on Gabnet or not? Is this Must on Gabnet? No, we're not going out on Gabnet. Well, how, how did he hear us? Uh, how did he have the uh, feed coming through? How what did Marshall do that? How did I'm on YouTube. Oh. I heard you on YouTube, but now I just called you on Skype. I'm actually on a Chromebook. This is the first time I've tried it. Wow. Uh, yeah, I just assumed that it was GabNet. That's because I, I'm not accustomed to it being on other feeds. Yeah. I hear you guys all. Um, definitely. 
Okay, good. I, I, has anyone ever called you from a Chromebook? I was always hesitant to try. Uh, no, well, you can now with Skype. Yeah, I'm just doing, I'm online, you know, just cr a Chromebook online. No uh, yeah. no download, no anything. Right. Marshall, what what is a Chromebook? I, I don't... A Chromebook is just, it's like a, a laptop, but it only uses the Chrome browser. It's like browser-based. It's based okay. on Google. Oh, all right. Yeah. Um, I, really I've never had anybody call me using one, but uh, uh, it works. It, it works yeah. okay, you know. Uh, so no what? Skype. You're not using Skype. No, I, I am using Skype online. That's what oh. they. Call it. Oh, I see. Yeah. So you don't have to install Skype. Correct. You can, correct. That's that's one of the things about a Chromebook is that you really can't install things. It's it's really just browser based. Can you use Skype online from a Windows or a Mac? Um, I assume you can, but I don't know. Why would you want to, Rob? Well, yeah. maybe because it, it would be maybe it would be less buggy. Huh. You know how we have all these issues with different versions of Skype and stuff. Maybe the browser version would be just nice and simple and work well. Oh. I'll tell you yeah, what. I, I mean, I don't know. It's, I mean, it's very unsophisticated, but, uh, you know, um, I figure on a Saturday night I'll test it out since you guys are testing things. I've always been hesitant to try it on a regular night because right. so I didn't know what it was going to be like. Right. So uh, where are you, Carter? I forget now. Where, where, I'm in North Carolina. North Carolina, um, and Phil's out there in uh, Walnut Creek. <laughs> uh, and, and Rob is down in Delaware. Virginia. <laughs> Virginia. Oh. <laughs> you had some there's some problems down that way tonight. Yeah, about an hour and a half away South from Carolina. In, uh, no, yeah. it's Charlottesville, uh, Virginia. Oh, it's right. Oh, by fact, UPA campus. Yep. So you're in South. Uh, you're in. Uh, I'm in Northern Virginia. Northern Virginia. And but, this but, is about an hour. But you're not in. You're not, you're not in. You're not in Virginia. Or are you in Virginia? No, I'm in Virginia. Okay, yeah. so uh, you're having trouble yes, in your yes. state tonight. In our state, yeah. yes, we are having trouble, big trouble. Yeah, which, by the way, okay. all, already, uh, you know, the, our, our dear president um, said uh, some uh, some things about it and uh, I guess was trying to do as presidents do, which is, you know, at least of the moment having to calm people down and instead everybody's pissed off at him, including his own party, because he re refused to condemn the Nazis. He condemned them all. No, he didn't. He condemned them no, he, all. You know, he said everybody. But you right. know something? But on both sides. Yeah. Yeah. You can't do that. Yeah, you can't do that. No. You don't, because you can't, because by saying that, you're condemning the good people, too, the good guys. Uh, the, the good guys. Oh, wait a minute. Uh, wait a minute. No, no I got news for you. There are Nazis, and then there are the good guys. Okay. <laughs> nope. I... I I found a website today. I was, you yeah. know, looking around and found the website that the guy um, who organized this, uh, this whole rally, and he's on Facebook, and he does some Facebook lives that you can watch and stuff like that. This guy is a wacko. Oh, they all are. That David Duke was out there uh, uh, yelling at Trump for uh, not supporting him, saying that... Uh, his people voted for uh, Trump, and uh, he was looking for uh, affirmation. Yeah. Um, but this is why Trump needs to say he has to call them out, not just say that the everybody. It yeah, make well, him look. He's he's really good at calling out Jeff Sessions, and yeah. really good at calling out individuals in his cabinet or anybody who he's got a problem with. But why won't he say anything about the? The, the white supremacist. Why? I think that um, it's the timing on this now is that he's not going to put himself out there. If he realized that he made a mistake, uh, I don't. I don't see him. Um, I don't see him uh, falling on his sword or changing his uh, his statement uh, just because it's Trump and that's the way he's going to handle it. Uh, you know, I, I just don't see him backing off of it. Well, he's he's losing a lot of, in in both parties because of it. Everybody's coming out against what he said. Uh, then he's going to have to bomb North Korea to you know, <laughs> yeah, right to change, to change the subject. Yeah, to change the subject. Yeah. It should be so easy. Just say, 
the Nazis, the white supremacists are 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 the ones in da- you know that are endangering things, and that's it. It's a, it's yeah. so easy. Yes, but see, all through his campaigning, he has seen uh, the uh, the other side uh, the, the, uh, go to his rallies and create. Um, uh, uh, issues and, and and so forth. So I, I can see I can see why he's reticent to uh, to condemn all. I'm not because to condemn all, but to he, condemn just lose a ton you know, of support because, if he can right yeah. condemn yeah. those exactly. guys. Exactly, that's, that's, that's his base. Well, that's who he appeal to with all that racism and hatred and innuendo. Now, and the quote Malcolm, the chickens are coming home to roost now. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I, and then plus it takes a man of character to stand up and say, look guys, what you're doing is wrong. And he doesn't, that guy doesn't have any character. It's a charlatan, he's a carpetbagger. Mm-hmm. Oh, don't exactly. carpetbaggers. I'm a carpetbagger. <laughs> no, he's a carpet. <laughs> he sells carpet. Anybody, anybody familiar with this book? Trump, Trump made, no. This is I've like heard of it, I haven't read it. 2005. And uh, I acquired it because somebody just put it on the street as a giveaway. Mm. And um, I have to say, um, I didn't pay really any attention to Trump. In fact, I've never seen an episode of, of The Apprentice. And I, for me, he was just always, a, you know, somebody really didn't care one way or another. Just He was just a big goofball. This thing, I just can't believe it. The more I know about him, <laughs> the more I just think, we were, how could we, we put this guy in a position of power? I mean, he is, he is, he is just total ego. He's self he he says contradictory things. He'll say one thing one time and one thing another time. It, it's just, I, I'm just blown away. If you get a chance, uh, read this book. It's called Trump Nation. And ironically enough, the first chapter uh, is actually called Trump TV. <laughs> it's a very fun, it's a very funny book in a way, but in a way, it's it's bizarre. It's it's just it's it's got to be the most bizarre book I've read in a long time. I'm almost finished it. Signaling the future, huh? Uh, you yeah, know, well, as I said, this thousand- came out. Fine. This came out about 2005, 2006, when the, you know, just after The Apprentice um, debuted, it was uh, successful. But it's mm-hmm. gone through all the the period of time in the in the in the 90s when he was just making mistake after mistake. You know, uh, you know, it's 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 amazing how how he's actually survived. Uh, except that the fact that he survived by screwing people over. That's basically the the, uh, the the gist of the book is that his his comeback has been on the backs of, of the people he's stolen from, basically. Hmm. Well, you know, I'm from New York, and there's a reason why the people that are most familiar with him, you know, he got like 20% of, of, of the vote. I mean, we've always known he, he's, he's, he's a fool and a, you know, a con man, and, uh, you know, it's the rest of the country that uh, wasn't as familiar with him and wasn't as familiar with all the nonsense he's done over the years that, you know, just put him in, you know, for hope and change, if you want to use the Obama. That's that's exactly what it is, you know, a desperation. What can we, what do we have to lose? Yep, yep. Well, we have a lot to lose as we're we're learning. (laughs) Now you find out. Yeah. So I mean, he, here he doesn't. He does. He, you know, he, it, 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 he made a, a very bad statement with this. Uh, with with the, not not just condemning the uh, the Nazis because after all, it was the Nazis that plowed that car into the crowd. You know, uh, I know they arrested the guy. I believe. Uh, yeah. But, uh, Twenty they, year old punk. Oh, they, they're sure he was one of the uh, one of the supporters. It wasn't just somebody that. Uh, uh, mistake and was trying to get the hell out of there. No, yeah, no, no, yeah. no. It was one of yeah. them. Yeah, from uh, from up north, uh, what Michigan or Ohio or wherever. Mm. Yeah. So Michigan yeah. Nazi. I, you <laughs> know what? When, when you can, you know, you said it was it. I don't know. It was last week, Alex? Yeah. And I was saying this to my wife when we're coming back from dinner. Uh, if, if you catch somebody in the act, this guy was in the car. 
He killed a person. There are three people dead. I don't know that they're all attributed to. No, the other two were in a helicopter on their way, uh, seven miles away, but on their way to cover the scene. And I think they were C H, not C H P, uh, some sort of police. So, so he he plows his car into a people with, into a group of people with intent. Just take him out back and boom, put a bullet in his head. You know he did it. End it. What, what, what are we, you know, he's a 20-year-old kid who's not going to amount to anything. Just, it's quick. What does it cost? What does a bullet cost? Well, Boom, that's, right that's, the eye, that's when people need rights. When they've done something like this, uh, they, they get due process. Wow. Yes. <laughs> I have to say I agree with Bill on this one. Yeah, I do too. <laughs> I, I definitely we, agree. We, we uh, can't stoop I, to their level. No, I mean... Can't to the Nazis level. Uh, I agree, but you know this this I'm whole Italian, concept you know. that he had <laughs> that that he didn't want to offend anybody. It was like he didn't want to offend his base, who were the Nazis, and he doesn't want to offend the non-Nazis. Uh, so I mean, it, usually you would come out and say, "Hey, you know, these Nazis, uh, one of them you know, plowed into the the crowd and whatever." And that uh, I don't did they have, did they have a per I think they had a permit to march, didn't they? No, I don't think so. They, they had it. I thought they had a permit. Yeah, I think uh, that's one of the contentions. Uh, it's been planned for months and months. Uh, there was something I heard that um, uh, maybe they didn't expect so many people. I, I'm not sure, but uh, you know, tr Trump has just come out with another statement, and he's condemned Gabnet. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> It's so okay. Bad. This is not on Gabnet. <laughs> it's not on Gabnet. This is Gab. This is Gabnet Live. Yeah. Yeah. Well, Alex, are you going to have this on YouTube every night going forward? Is that going to well, be? Uh... No, no, no. This is. Oh. I'm testing this out. I might do it on weekends or something just to test it out some more. Uh, it, it 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 takes a lot to get it done, and it doesn't. I don't think look as good physically as the way I've been doing it on uh, on uh, Facebook Live. Uh, mm -hmm. And Facebook Live is pretty accessible to everybody, you know. Uh, the only thing is, is that when you put stuff out on YouTube, it, it could end up being monetized if you get enough views. Well, yeah, but I'm not afraid of that. <laughs> <laughs> Monetize? Mon monetize? What is this monetize you talk about? Uh, it's a few shekels thrown your way. <laughs> well, I do my part, Alex. I watch your show on YouTube all the time, as you know, uh, when it's uh, you know done uh, an hour later. Yeah, yeah. but you can watch yeah. it live, as I say, on Facebook Live. And uh, my Facebook audience is larger than any of those others are, uh, uh, pe tend to get, and I think it's because uh, the uh, the kind of promotion the other ones do. Facebook, every time I go on, all my followers get a message yeah, saying I'm on. Yeah, I was going to ask about that. In fact, yeah. Yeah. Oh, wait a minute. Hold on a second. I got to call Tony Magno. Oh, no, Tony, I got to call you back. Bye, Tony. Okay, I'm home. Okay, hello. Is, is everybody still there? Oh, I hate this when this happens. Uh, are you guys there? Are you guys there? Hang up on so. the caller to the, call him back, and you wind up. Okay, let me let, let me yeah. let me let me call Tony. Hold on a second. I yeah, did, I wonder what will happen with one more call, uh, one more person on. Why? Why would it be a problem? I'm just wondering what the screen will look like. Oh well, it it it, it kind of parcels itself out differently than on PCs. And why isn't Tony answering now? Tony, an oh, there we go. There, come, here comes Tony. Who is the next? See? The next one. Uh, and, 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 you're not going to like the next person that calls. Yeah. You're going to wind up with like this film strip across the bottom. Okay, hold on a second. And everybody will be in this film strip, and then you get only one or two big, big pictures. Okay. Rob, you, you're actually got a little bit of um, distortion out of your microphone. I don't okay. know. Why. I want to do something. Silly. I want to. There's something about where did I where did I set the screen, and what part of the screen is being uh, used? Ah, I don't know where that was. Oh well, uh, to hell with that. Uh, let me see here. Let me get this. Oops. No, we don't want to do that either. Uh, we want to go up and, and go uh, right you, here again. You got me on twice. Huh? Hey, okay, you fixed it. Yeah. Yeah. Oh no! Now you're all there. Of course, Tony, your your head is chopped off a little bit. Um, Let me see what I can do here about this. 
see. Phil, how does that sound? Is it better? Yeah, yeah. Hmm. Yeah, I, I, you know, I, I, my problem, the problem is really the way Skype apportions things on, uh, on, uh, on Skype, Skype on, on a Mac. Yep. Uh, yeah. so, uh, so Tony's head is still a little cut off on the Skype, but more cut off on the Facebook. Yeah. Uh, Tony, why don't you move your camera up a no, little? It, no, it will, wouldn't be any different than the How's Skype. that? I'm on your iMac. Oh, move your, uh, move your screen move down, down a little bit, or towards you. Move the screen towards, towards me? you. Okay. Yeah, a little further down. I don't want to scare you too much, but I just oh, took a shower. Towards, towards the desk. No, no, no. Are you no, better? No, no. Tony, Tony, take what? it. You, can you see your own picture on the screen, your own face on no, the I screen? No, I can just see you. I got you in a little box. Well, don't, well, don't you have a box that shows you what you look like? No, I kind of hate looking at myself. I'm very well, that isn't the <laughs> point. The po well, then we, I just see you, actually, the book lines fell, and the other guys. Well, what, 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 I know what I can do. Wait a minute. I know how I can fix it. I, there, I can I can actually adjust it. You yeah. can move your, you can put the yes. mouse over the pictures and move them. Yeah, but really? that's that's a lot of work. Oh, wait a minute! I don't want that. It keeps changing. Yeah, there we go. Uh, let me see here. Boom, boom. Well, wait a minute. How do I get everybody back to normal here? Uh, yeah, there yeah. we go. There we go. I double clicked and it it did. Oh, there you go. Okay, and we have to do that to Tony so we get more of Tony. And Carter, we bring this down so we get more of Carter. Hold on, oh, come on. There we go. And to, see, now oh, I, oh, here we go. Uh, uh, Tommy, I'm a Gucci. I gotta move you up. Let me see here. How do I do this? Okay, yeah, there we go. No, I'm, I'm Kilroy on Facebook. You're Kilroy on Facebook? No, you're not. Facebook. Yeah, I'm looking I, at you on Facebook. You look fine. But well, hold on a second. I'll take care of that. No, I was about there, to cut there off. we go. Yeah. Oh, see? So. Yeah. It's fun, isn't it, folks? <laughs> <laughs> anyway, back to what we were talking about. I mean, uh, yeah. if you, oh, you let go. me ask each of you, if you were president of the United States right now, besides killing yourself, what? <laughs> <laughs> how would you handle this? Uh, Carter, how would you handle this situation down there? What would you, Because the president has to say something, right? He has to be a leader. So what would, I would you call? First, I would call for everybody to calm down. Yeah. And then uh, I would throw my support behind the governor and the actions he's taken, because I think he declared it a state of emergency. Yeah. You know, and I would call for restraint. What else can you do? Yeah. And then I would also emphasize: look, this is a country where people have the right to protest responsibly or peacefully. And, is another know, way. And, but there's no place in this country for hatred and racism. Yeah. Religious intolerance. There's just no place for that. I could have sworn that's what Trump said. I, you know, he's the only... I used to listen to both Bushes. I've always listened to all the presidents. I don't even consider him my president. And I've never been in that place before. None of us and, have. And I can't, I can't even stand to listen to him because I know the guy's a crook. I can look at him and tell there's nothing he can say that I'm going to believe. Nothing. And he's insane, and, it's just, it's, and he's taken us, he's taken the entire world to the brink of uh, a, a, a holocaust with this foolishness with uh, North Korea. And I, you know, and it, I, I really can't even concentrate. Is there any part of you, let me ask you, angry. Carter, is there any part of you that's frightened about this? Yes, I am. Yeah. I really am. Especially, you know, I live in the South. Matter of fact, not too far from me, there's a Confederate statue, you know, and the Klan rallied around it to protect it and all that good stuff. You know, but uh, and, and and I notice uh, there's an intolerance now that you have to I have to confront every day. There's one person somewhere that'll pop up that I have to you know confront, yeah. and that's not my nature. And it's and it's and it's because of the leadership we have in place now. Yeah, they feel emboldened. Yes. And Where do you want to? I work at a university. I live. I uh, work at a uh, uh, traditional HBCU. It's uh, North Carolina a and And matter of fact, I've been talking to one of the professors there who's buying some land in Africa. And I'm cons I'm re I'm seriously considering about leaving, leaving this country because it's, it's ridiculous now, and I, I just can't see it getting any better. Hmm. Hmm. And I'm 61, and I'm tired of dealing with this. I mean, I've dealt with this all my life, and I'm just, I'm fed up with it. Uh, does anybody have anything to say about that? Well, the only thing I would say is that 
it's it's hopefully only going to be three more years, maybe even less. Things always change, you know, and uh, I certainly understand the sentiment, but, you know, I think America is going to overcome it. Yeah. I mean, they're challenging every... He's challenging all of the systems, and hopefully they they will... Uh, you know, he's pressing all the buttons to, to get to... To challenge the American system, and hopefully, you know, it'll win out. Yeah, but he can't yeah. be a dictator. He can't do things on his own. He needs Congress. He needs the Senate. Yeah, but do you have people in place now who will stand up to that? That's I a just, really good uh, question. I, I don't Partisan. see that, especially from his own party. They will not, not stand up to him. Not yeah. enough of them, but hopefully that will grow. Yeah. When Phil finally turns on him, we'll know that it is. <laughs> if Phil turns on, I'll, I'll stay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I saw that footage. I don't know if you guys saw the footage. It's, it's horrifying. Down in yeah. Somebody took a car and yeah. rained. Yeah, right down your old phone. And they won't even call it terrorism. Well, that's terrorism. I I think yeah, I that's absolutely terrorism. I yeah. thought they did call it terrorism. No, I don't he, wa- he wants it. But, uh, I think uh, somebody else, uh, maybe it's the news media. Somebody did call it terrorism. Uh, yeah, I'm trying to remember who exactly. Could have been the governor. I'm. I'm not sure. Yeah, but it needs to the come. Governor is, the governor is. The governor is liberal. McAuliffe. Yeah. Now, if yeah. they catch that guy in the car, they should really throw the book at him. I mean, he just pretty much. Well, well they, they got him. He's in jail. He's in custody. Yeah. 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 Well, they better not let him see the light of day. I mean, that's it. That's I throw the key away. Yeah. Well. That's intent right there. That, that car isn't going to have a lot of value as a used item, you know. <laughs> Life shouldn't have a lot of value for what he uh, did. That's, you know, he really busted it up. Uh, did you see the film of him backing down the street and then he hit two more cars? Uh, he was trying to get away. No. Yeah, is that what I is going over in Europe? The same type of stuff, using cars yeah. and trucks? That's and right. Yeah. That's right. mm-hmm. Yeah. Wow. This is American ISIS, only on a you know, uh, not a Muslim, but it's the same. It's the same exact garbage. The yeah. Same exact garbage. Use the Dodge instead of a truck. Yeah. Challenger, I think. <laughs> oh, I'm doing some stuff here, so you guys keep talking while I try to uh, get things uh, looking good. Um, hold on a second. Remote camera. There we go. Just keep talking. Yeah, I, I, I don't know why, you know, since I'm on a Chromebook, I'll give you guys just a different report. For some reason, I see Rob fully, but the other f- four of you, I see just your heads with like a green stripe underneath you. I don't, you know, I have no idea of, I'm not a technical wizard. Uh, can you click on uh, someone else's picture and see if that same thing happens? Um... It's and, just and it switches uh, possibly from one uh, person large to another. Sometimes that happens if you uh, if you uh, uh, well left click on a uh, uh, on one of the pictures. No, I, I'm just t- talking about how you all look on Skype. I really, again, because it's a Chromebook, I re- I really can't change anything. Um, so I just see you as I see you. For some reason. I guess because he joined the conversation after me, I don't see Tony's picture. I just see the, the twirling camera thing. Yeah. I mean, oh. I know he's there. I see him on Facebook, but yeah. if I'm looking just you know on the live feed on uh, Skype, I don't. Yeah. Where where are you? Um, uh, where are you where are you calling from? I'm from Brooklyn, Brooklyn, you, New York. You're calling. Uh, you're calling from Brooklyn, New York. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so, um, uh, and what's your cable company out there? Is it, uh, Optimum. Optimum. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. Are they good? Eh. You yeah. know, they're a ripoff like everyone else. If I was a new customer, they'd be great. But, you know, because they, they give, you know, they give away the store to new customers. But when you're with them for a long time, you know, uh, they just up you and up you and up you and, you know. So, uh, unfortunately, they don't have Fios in my neighborhood yet, so I'm kind of a captive audience. What part of Brooklyn are you? Um, Kensington. 
Kensington. I don't know that part. I know Flatbush. Um, it's near. It's right near Flatbush. It's near Prospect Park. It's oh, like, I know what that is. Yeah, it's on the other side of Prospect Park, like you know, oh. the other side of Grand Army Plaza. All right. Yeah, my uh, mother went to Erasmus. Ah, so did I. So yeah. did I. Yeah. What year did you graduate? Um, seventy-two. Okay. Uh, my, one of my closest friends graduated in seventy-one, uh, and then he went to Brooklyn College. Oh, that's so, so did I. That's the path. Yeah, did you ever, uh, at, well, when he was at Brooklyn College, he was at uh, uh, WB, uh, WBCR, Brooklyn College Radio. Uh, I actually tried out for it and uh, uh, didn't, you know, because of various things, my own stupidity, it just didn't work out. Yeah. Yeah, I think he was the program director. He took over after Lenny Bronstein. Ah, okay. Yeah. yeah. I, I tried out for the sports department, so I was familiar with the, the guy who was uh, the lead sports announcer, but uh, I don't, I mean, I would remember his name if you said it, but yeah. I don't know, I don't remember it now. Well, anyway, uh, yeah. I was trying to adjust the picture here. That's why I was quiet for a while there, and I'm still still having some some problems with it, but, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll figure it out eventually. Uh, my, yeah, you see that? My father was the boys high, and... Uh, ah. And uh, he said that um, it was, you know, you got, you went to boys high when you got thrown out everywhere else. And, uh, he <laughs> oh. says it was a tough school. He says the uh, tough guys used to charge a nickel to get across the street. Yeah. So he got together with his friends and got six inch pieces of rubber hose and charged the tough guys 10 cents to get back. <laughs> so I think you've told that story with. before. Yeah, well, that's it, definitely it, something it, Vinnie Barbarino would have said. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> And and Alex, you've never told a story uh, twice on this. No, huh? never. I've, I've all my career, I've kept telling different stories. Are you all kidding right. me? I've got five minutes of material, <laughs> and I've been using it over and over and over again. <laughs> but uh, very nice. Yeah. You know what? I don't. Uh, what I'm. Uh, in case people are tuning in now and they're they're wondering what the fuck is going on here. Uh, let me just explain what the fuck is going on here. Uh, we are um, basically uh, uh, doing a test to see if this thing can work okay. Uh, oh, this camera is the one I'm talking to. Uh, to see if this is all working out okay. Uh, okay, uh, Patrick's trying to call, so let me hang up on him and let me then uh, uh, go to Patrick and call him back because that's the only way this thing works so now we've got a whole bunch of people look at this folks see see what we're talking about yeah, now so that what's going to the uh, you the know uh, well um, let's see here film uh, strip, and you can't change that uh, you can't change the film strip no that's the thing about about Skype for Mac I eat oh really yep can't change that see what we're There's talking no about folks that. down at the bottom you can see the film strip uh, hello uh, hello Patrick how are you my boy Your sound is awfully low. Well, isn't that always the way it starts low and then... Yeah, but, it, but it's not going higher, though. That's the problem. Okay. Let me try this one. <laughs> <laughs> yes, much higher. I'm, I'm squeezing my balls as I was doing that. So yeah. Does that help? <laughs> yeah, okay. That sounds good. Uh, you know, what, you know what's, what's kind of interesting here? is that I'm probably never going to do this again. I'll tell you why. Because I just don't like the way Skype works on the Mac. It's uh, terrible. Do you have an older version of Skype? Is that why you have to call back? Well, and uh, why are you so low, too? Me? <coughs> yeah. Uh, I don't know. I'm, I haven't it's, adjusted anything. I'm bringing all the audio up here a little bit. It's yeah. Saturday, Phil. He's mellow. Oh, yeah. I see. <laughs> uh, uh, do you need me to turn the pot up a little? No, yeah. no. I, you got some pot? <laughs> <laughs> I got I'm a potentiometer. <laughs> you know, well, potentiometer. You know who's been quiet about this whole thing is Tommy Amaguchi. We well, not haven't been quiet about this. I told you about the book. Yeah. Patrick, have you heard about this uh, This book? Uh, let me see if I can. Oh. Oh. You know, I'm, I'm having some experience with some slowing down. No, well, don't worry uh, about it. Put your book up in not, front of the camera. Down. You know, Tom, you're not slowing down on uh, your output. Oh, well, my input is. 
Anyway, well, Patrick, I just want to say I got this book called Trump Nation by Tim O'Brien. Have you heard of it? Um, I may have. I know there's a few books out there on Trump now. So. Yes, yeah, this is, came out about 2005, 2006, when uh, just after The Apprentice uh, was becoming very popular. And uh, it's definitely worth reading, you know. Uh, one thing that's really interesting is that, except what mentions that he ran for president under the Reform Party and it made some general statements about his feelings, there's nothing really political in this book at all. It's just like, he really, there's nothing that he expresses any strong political feelings at all. You know, uh, you know, it's, it's, he's more, it's, it's more that he's, he has these personality clashes with other people. You know, it's all about ego and personality. That's sounds like a, right. like a not funny Larry David. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I guess you could say that. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, oh, well, wait a minute. So I was asking people, I'll ask you now, uh, Tom, uh, if you were president, how would you handle this situation <laughs> down in uh, down in Virginia? I mean, how would you how would you position yourself? Well, I thought Carter's uh, response was just great. For one thing is, you know, is Trump talking to uh, to the governor down there? You know, is he asking the governor, what do you need? You know, what can I do? Uh, we don't know that. You know, well, you know why uh, he isn't? Because it's Terry what? McAuliffe, right? Well, that should that should make any difference. Well, to him I, it would. During during Superstorm Sandy, um, you know, uh, Obama was was talking to uh, to uh, to Christie, Chris. right? And, and and so so political parties shouldn't have any anything to do with this. But you know, Chris Christie took a lot of grief from people within his party for hugging Obama and stuff during that whole thing. Yeah, he did. And for sure. saying but, good things about him. Yeah, yeah, I understand that. But I, as I said, you know, I, I mean, maybe maybe the, the hugging was a little bit much, but but at least being supportive and saying, hey, what do you need? What, what can we do for you? Things like that. I uh, swear and I'm not feeling that here. I could swear that, that during his statement, that's what he said. Well, maybe but, uh, he did, but I didn't hear it. Yeah, yeah. You know, he 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 came out. He made a statement, and uh, you know, he's being criticized because he didn't go far enough uh, in condemnation of uh, the Nazis. And um, you know, he I, is guilty he, of exactly what he and the people on the right always said about Obama: not calling a spade a spade, not saying. You know, because they didn't, Obama wouldn't use the term Islamic terrorism. Yeah. Well, he wouldn't use white supremacist the, the terrorism. Putting a name to the uh, to the owner of the uh, the act, putting putting yeah. a, a label on it. Wonder what would have happened if it was uh, one of the uh, counter protesters that uh, killed uh, uh, some. <laughs> still be as uh, as outraged. You know, it could, it could have been the other way around just as easily. There was a lot of violence going on. Yeah, it would be outrageous no matter who, who, who did the killing, for sure. Yeah. yeah. Well, yeah. I, you know, I, I just, uh, you know, I just wonder uh, if this panel would be as emboldened and as angry at, uh, at you know, as they are because it was uh, the, a skinhead or whatever he was that, that did it. And it could have it could have been the other side just as easily, uh, you know. They I, they've shot police. They, uh, they there's, well, there's well, a lot well, of well, things. Well, that, well, wait a minute. But what are you saying that the wait a minute now? It, the it, other side didn't shoot the police. That was no, the no, range no, guy in, that shot the police. Or Dallas. No, no. In in previous uh, Carter in previous uh, uh, incarnations of these uh, hate things, uh, there was a protest. I think it was in Dallas. wasn't f weren't five officers uh, shot and killed. Yeah, but that. That wasn't the other side that shot him, those officers. It was a deranged guy that did that. And this guy wasn't deranged? This one in, in the car? I didn't say he wasn't. <laughs> I didn't say he wasn't. I, I, didn't, so, so I, didn't, you're I didn't approve. In, no, recent, in recent years. I, no, I'm in, not excusing it. I didn't, I didn't approve of that. Yeah. In, I don't approve in, of what in, happened in recent Virginia. years. And for you to even phrase that yeah. question is... 
Let no, me, I'm let just, me, it's let just me, uh, curious yeah. that... Yeah. Uh, I mean, you shouldn't you know, even have yeah, to yeah. ask that. You shouldn't even have to ask that. As a human being, yeah. you should be able to say, that guy in Dallas was wrong, the guy in Virginia was wrong. Oh, absolutely. See, that's, that's what's happening in this country. We want The first thing we want to say is, okay, what would the other side say? Hell, we all are human beings. We're all going to object to that. So you don't even have to ask that question. Well, you know, that's what uh, they said about Trump. And uh, there was a pundit on um, CNN that was uh, uh, supportive of Trump. And uh, he said the exact same thing, that, that Trump didn't need to, to single out one group or the other. Uh, and and just, just the exact same thing you just said. As, as the American president, this country has a set of norms that say we are all Americans. Mm-hmm. And we don't protest against because you're Jewish, you're old, right. you're, you're Hispanic. We don't do that. That's not tolerable. And well, these guys invoke, they, they created this problem. They knew what they were doing when they went up there and protest. They know most Americans can't tolerate that. So he has to speak out against that because it goes against the American norms. And he's the leader of this country, so he should say, this cannot stand because Americans do not do that to each other. You know, I agree with that. Yeah, uh, yeah, I yeah agree but with here, that. here's the thing, Phil. What you seem to indicate was that the left has uh, gone around shooting cops and doing things like that. And quite frankly, yeah. well, quite frankly, not recently. Not, not in the last... 15, 20 years, okay? No, that, that's just a couple of years, a couple uh, months uh, ago. Like, what, what, uh, where was that? Five, five cops. Was it Dallas or Houston? Uh, Carter, do you remember? That was, it was in Dallas, and of course, everybody in Black Lives Matter and throughout the spectrums of the United States denounced that. But mm-hmm. see, part of the right tactic is to say, okay, uh, even though we're wrong, we're going to say this guy yeah. was wrong, too. So that, that it kind of what I'm trying to say is you're trying to balance out what took place with a false argument. Right. Nobody supported that guy in Dallas. No one. Because we know what that would lead to. But you can't go around. And, and also, also, I don't know if that was as much a left-right issue as it was a racial issue. Well, Patrick wants to say something. Yeah, I yeah. thought that it led to other cop shootings and killings. Patrick? Uh, around the country. Patrick. 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 Maybe where Phil is going is aside from the cop shooting, if the rioting and the intense protest that had taken place over the last year when the cops have shot somebody and there have been injuries and there have been things of that nature and there have been more of that than there has this nonsense that happened today. I mean, these were terrorists Indeed, were thugs that did this. I was surprised to see that many of them were wearing body armor, had shield, like they were riot police themselves. Mm-hmm. I mean, that in and of itself told me that they went there just like there was a protest. I don't remember if it was in Missouri or uh, one of the states after one of the uh, police officers shot a black man, uh, where some of the protesters were already wearing uh, like vests and they were ready to do damage as well. It wasn't a majority of those people, but I will say today, it looked like the majority of the protesters were out for blood. They were out to do destruction. Did the Nazis have the same kind of armor on? Yes. Yeah, he's a, he, that's who he's talking. That's who he's talking about. They were wearing armor and they had like shields oh, and things like they, that. Okay. Yeah, the only the, the thing that I remember was one of the protests after a police shooting. There was a group of people that were ready for doing violence. They were dressed for it, and the majority of the people were not. And and the, you could tell who was ready and who wasn't. And they were the ones that were arrested. Today, there was a, mo- a bigger majority that, I mean, when I saw the shield and I saw the Kevlar helmet on the protesters, I knew that they weren't there just to protest. They were there to do violence, period. Yeah. And there's no way to get around that. There's no way to, uh, to sugarcoat it. I'm watching it on TV right now. I see at least a dozen idiots wearing, oh, uh, baseball uh, batting helmets they're wearing. 
alongside Tom. Tom, what's the name of that group? It starts with an A. They Andy come with Calavada. Uh, Cal, uh, uh, no, they come with is that what you're talking about? Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, that's an extreme leftist to uh, communist group, uh, anarchists and 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 extreme leftist groups that that uh, consider uh, violence a, a, a acceptable tactic. And uh, they're a very, very small group. And uh, the thing is, when you see these alt-right groups, what they're part of their strategy is to provoke these other extreme groups into, re into, into response. And that's what's been going on here in Berkeley. You know, they, they, they actually come in from the outside with the intent of provoking violence. And so when the Antifa comes in, they're giving the alt-right exactly what they want. And that's why there's a, a, a large group of people who are really working to try to have a uh, non-violent response to that. And, and uh, it's a challenge. I, once you get something like going like that to try to move it back, mm -hmm. uh, it, it's very difficult when, when you have this one group, this, this, this alt-right group that is really intent on yeah. creating a violent situation. Uh, Patrick, you have your hand up. Yeah, uh, Tom just reminded me of something. When I said earlier that there was a group ready to go do violence and riot in the protests that had happened in the past, those also were out-of-state uh, people, and that was confirmed by a lot of the protesters in Missouri and in different cities that these were not even citizens of the city or, or the town where uh, the cops had shot somebody, that they were outsiders, just like what Tom said with each clown today, that mm -hmm. these are outsiders and they're not even part of Virginia. Well, right. so now let me ask you, uh, uh, Patrick, because I don't think I've asked you, how would you have handled the situation today if you were the president? Um, well, I mean, he talked to, to the governor, mm -hmm. um, and he, he praised the police response as well as the National Guard. Um, I don't know what else you can do. Um, I the, mean, do, you th do, you think, do you think it was a mistake of him to blame everybody, which is what they're, what they're going after him for right now? Yeah, I, I will say this. Um, I heard him say, you know... Yeah, I forget what the exact wording was, but I did hear him say that. Mm -hmm. and Both that was, sides. That was he one of that. those things where I will bet a hundred gap net dollars <laughs> that the speech that was <laughs> did not have that in there, and that was him ad-libbing again yep. and having his staff bang their head against the wall because they probably had it written so that it would be non-confrontational, non-anything, and he threw that in there, and I heard that, and it was like, it echoed in my head, and I kept mm -hmm. going, don't say shit like that, that's stupid. <laughs> Once again, we've got a rank amateur in, in, uh, in the position of power, and this is what you get when you've got a guy, I mean, you know, mm -hmm. even George W. Bush, knew how to take direction and he knew how to stay on message because he had that experience as a politician uh, you Rob know? you got your hand up well he he and then he had the the nerve the gall to start saying there's plenty of good things happening in this country we have the lowest unemployment rate and then yeah. he went on to, t to talk about his 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 what he calls his triumphs in the in the face of what's going in other on words, there, wait a minute, I didn't hear I didn't hear him give the actual speech. Did, yeah. When he was giving that speech about you know blaming certain everybody and whatever, he then went on to say all the wonderful things he's done in the yep. last six months. It's self-aggrandizing. Yep. Uh, he, yep. he, he was self-aggrandizing. Hold on a second. I think I'm. I got, I have to hold my heart here for a second because <laughs> Phil actually <laughs> said something bad about Trump. I didn't say it was bad. I just said he was self angry. Well, that's pretty <laughs> terrible. Any, any, uh, that sounds like you know, you know, that's pretty terrible. That's pretty terrible. Just yeah. not uh, the right place to do that. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, back to campaigning. You, you know, I, in in sales, 
what happens is instead of salespeople doing what they're supposed to do and ask questions and, and so forth, they start going into a presentation when they're nervous. And, and I think that's uh, he has uh, his five-minute elevator speech, and that's it. And so as soon as he's lost for words, he goes into his elevator speech. Yeah, uh, you know? let me uh, shut Patrick, up and, and yeah. say thank you and God bless America and walk away. Patrick's yeah. got his hand up. Uh, and so did... Uh, and so uh, does, so does uh, Marshall Goldberg as well. So both of you. Uh, uh, first, uh, let's, go to, let's go to Patrick. I'll be cool. Um, it, the, the thing is with that speech was originally supposed to be about the VA and this happened today so it fucked that speech up and like I said I think his speech writer probably readjusted and he just went off course and I think the proper thing should have been address the um, uh, the protest and, and the, the violence that happened and then reschedule the, the speech for the VA for another day Mm -hmm. yeah. And that would have been good enough, and then he could talk about his achievements and all that shit. But today was, this was fucked up. Uh, it shouldn't have happened. We need to come together. Thank you, God bless, and that's it. Uh, yes, uh, uh, Michael. Is it Michael? Uh, Marshall. Ma Marshall. Excuse me, Marshall. Um, yeah, Phil, if Obama had come out on a day where there was a hor horrible terrorist act somewhere... Mm -hmm. and talked about how great Wall Street was doing or, um, you know, uh, that unemployment was cut in half and under... I mean, the right, and justifiably so, would have gone insane. Oh, absolutely. This no, is the it, same... It, it was the wrong thing to do, and I think it was, uh, it, it was a rookie move, and it was... Uh, gotta and get... Gotta Got to stop with this rookie move stuff. Well, He's it, the president it, of the fucking United States. We got to stop with this now. He's six months in. What are you going to do? Put a sh <laughs> shot? Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, but you know, you you can call <laughs> this what, guy. Here's here's the problem. Uh, you can ca call this guy uh, a rookie for the next. Uh, I don't know, four years because he's right. really a rookie, and that's it. You know, he doesn't know this business. He didn't, does. He barely knew the business he was in, but he doesn't know this business. And that's the problem. Yeah, well, and, and to make it worse, he really doesn't care. That's the sad right. thing. Exactly. Really I don't care. know that he doesn't he has care. No interest in learning how to do the job. He doesn't listen to anybody. No, well, that's true. Uh, I, I noticed uh, one thing that is a little off topic. We, we have three boroughs of New York represented on this oh. panel: uh, Brooklyn, uh, Queens, and Manhattan. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, so that's a so career. so. If 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 this makes any sense, fuck you. <laughs> you. <laughs> no, uh, <laughs> oh, oh, you rub a hole. Wait a minute. You've been you've been away from New York too long. There's a reply to fuck you. Fuck me. Fuck, fuck you. That's it. Okay. <laughs> right, okay. Well, <laughs> you know. Uh, 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 what would you have done? Uh, did I ask you, Marshall? Uh, what you would have um, done, what you would have said, how you would have parsed the situation. Yeah, I would have, I would have just said, you know, I would have really tailored most of my, my, you know, outrage to the Nazis. I would have said, you know, we as all Americans have to come together. There's no room in America for white supremacy, Nazism, or violence. Period. That's it. Well, I think, I think, I think you're, cl I think you're close. Okay, it's kind of what he should have done. It, what he should have done is avoid assigning any kind of blame to anybody, but just saying this kind of action has to stop. We don't like to see this in America because this is not the country we are, you know? And, and uh, anybody who, who can go along with this is not being a true American. Boom. And, and let everybody assume the blame. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. The, you know, um, let me see here. Uh, let's see. Is there anybody else I didn't ask the question of? Yeah, you didn't ask me. I, but, uh, I, I didn't ask you. I didn't ask Tony. Uh, first, uh, let's hear Tony, and then let's hear Phil, because we know what he's going to say. <laughs> you know, I'm going to kind of go along with what Marvin said, only for the fact that it just seems, and Robbie's right about something with Trump. Like, he's supposed to be giving a speech 
to try to bring people together to calm everything, and then he's got to go like, well, Wall Street's doing good. That has nothing to do with what's happening. Trump, I think what we see with Trump, and I could be wrong, this is who his personality is. And it always, he always has to feel like, well, even though they're killing each other over here, we made some money uh, last week. He's just a prick. He's just a Mark. business guy who's just a prick. Like you Mark. said, Alex, he doesn't give a shit about anybody as long as he's making money and his friends. Well, That's the impression I get. What were you saying, no uh, uh, Albert? I mean, Albert, Rob. <laughs> no moral compass, no real, uh, uh, no real ideology, just finding a place line. where he can... Finding a place where he was able to gain power yes. because he saw an opening. He saw an opening in the Republican Party because there were 25 people running in the primaries, and he figured he had a pretty damn good shot there. And then you go and you say everything that everybody wants to hear. You do a great job of just, and especially because he's an outsider, he can blame everything on everybody else. It's easy to point out everything that's wrong. It's not easy to fix what's wrong. And he's finding that out now. And then, in four years from now, when things are still fucked up, he can't say he had nothing, although he tries to distance himself from everything that doesn't go right. But he's not going to be blameless. So that's when his strategy will fail. Can I ask Alex a question? Yeah, sure. Alex, is he the type of boss... I I didn't really work for him, but I'm going to ask you guys... Is he the type of boss that when the company isn't doing well, it's everybody else's fault? But, hey, you're only working a half a day. Well, that, listen, it's that's, like a, that's, that's, that's any boss. When have you ever heard a boss say, it's my fault? I think you know. it should, though. Don't you think, though? Huh? If but they're a good boss, they should. Well, be. you know, uh, he would gain, gain a great deal of credibility if just once he would say, well, in this particular case, it was my mistake or something to that effect. Uh, don't you think, Phil, that that would help uh, help him with the American public a little bit to seem a little more vulnerable, to seem that, uh, that he's willing to take the blame when he thinks it might be his fault? I think any good leader or any good boss um, has to realize that when there's a failure, the failure rests on the boss's shoulders. But he never, uh, d- but he never does that. Well, I'm yeah, he doesn't, but a, a good leader or a good boss does. Are you coming over to our side, Phil? Thing. Phil, are you slowly coming over to our side? That's what I seem to be hearing tonight. Uh, you know, if if I ever have to fire somebody, I look inward and ask, what because did I do? If you're going to over to our coming over to our side, I'm going to have to ban you from the program. <laughs> Uh, and uh, <laughs> it'll make a lot of people happy. <laughs> so uh, my uh, my response, if I was Trump, I would have brought Carter out and said, "This is my spokesman," and I would have had him say just what he said. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's it's uh, it, it, but it, but it's sad that we're having this conversation, isn't it, folks? Yeah, it's Saturday. It's Saturday. I'm enjoying it, but I don't. You you know something? We can't even have our Saturdays without some kind of surus, right? Yeah. I was reading the book, then I saw chaos. Nazis. I I I I I was talking to girlfriend yesterday about the cat that stayed with us. That the cat had this ability, as as a lot of cats do, to uh, just pay attention, make us force be forced to pay attention to her, you know. And if we weren't paying attention to her, she'd find some way to make us pay attention to her, like strike a cute pose or go do something that we go get off of there, you know, whatever. And Trump's this way. We constantly have to pay attention to this prick, you know. Yes, Patrick's got his hand up. I, I do think it's, it's a good thing to be talking about this. Boy. Um, boy because it, I, I think uh, neo-Nazism and this sort of stuff had been sort of forgotten about, and you know it. It it the uh, you made references to this sort of thing, where you're picking up the rock and all the uh, bugs crawl out from underneath, and you know maybe this was something that needed to happen today, to really root out what is out there, and to force, unfortunately, Phil and my side. To confront what we have as 
people that align themselves with us. And this might be a good way for us, maybe not Phil and I personally, but our side, to distance themselves and really come out and say, these people do not belong anywhere around the Republican Party or the conservative movement because they don't represent much like you have a lot of Muslims that have come out after a lot of these terrorist bombings saying, look, these are not Muslims. They do not follow the Quran. This, this is not who we are. So I, I think this is uh, time for us to look in the mirror and see who the hell is on our side and get them the hell away. I would, I would tend to agree with you on that. I think that's perfectly stated. I think that the, the point is is that it, it, Trump didn't do that, though. It's as though Trump did not want to make anybody feel like he was singling them out. And I'm telling you, when it comes to the morality of this country, and I'm sure, I'm sure Carter would agree with me, wouldn't you, Carter, that it, oh, yes. it, you can't side with a Nazi. It's, put, it's put idiotic. It in, put it in comedic terms. Uh, 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 Trump has got th three minutes, three good minutes, but he needs five. And when he uh, gets stumped, he go his the last two minutes are uh, he steals somebody else's material. You know, it's yeah. just, uh, <laughs> like Hitler's, <laughs> <laughs> like Hitler's. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. But uh, you know, I, 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 he he just fell apart at the end. I mean, he was doing fine until he got to the point where uh, you know he he just kept talking, but what was coming out of his mouth was uh, was garbage. Carter, <laughs> Carter, as uh, the only black person on the panel, let me ask you a black question. Um, I okay. mean, do you feel that uh, uh, the election of Trump and his rhetoric have made it more difficult for black people in America? Maybe that's a leading question. Uh, I, th I think what it has done, I don't think it's made it difficult, but it's, it, it served notice to me to be ready to defend myself mm -hmm. in any situation. I don't mean physically, but verbally, you know, because, I mean, down, <laughs> I can drive down the street and everywhere I look, I see Confederate flags now. You know, mm -hmm. so that lets me know I have to be careful because there are some nuts out here now. Well, I mean, like well, this this whole thing was uh, this whole thing was over the uh, a statue of Robert E. Lee, wasn't it? Yeah. And that they want to take yes. it down in in uh, Charles uh, is Charleston. Uh, they want to take it down, and the of course the Nazis don't want them to take it down. Oh, you're 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 stifling white power and white whatever. I mean, it's not that I don't think that maybe you know it is the South, and I think a uh, statue of Lee. I don't. Does that bother you, a statue of Lee? I mean, it's a part of history. It was put up there as a historical. It's monument. a part. It's a part of history, but we don't need to honor it. I, I don't know that Lee was uh, was anti-black or uh, you know. Well, he was pro. He was. He had to be pro-slavery to be you know fighting the good fight for the South. <laughs> exactly. I don't, exactly. I, don't really know, I don't really know that the that the South was really well, fighting. Well, maybe for he was. I, I'm sure he was good to his slaves. Okay, I don't think but the North was fighting for slavery. Yeah, what they were. What, the what were they fighting, fighting for? Well, the, the, to stop the secession of uh, of the South. No, no, no. What was the South fighting for? Uh, I'm, that I, 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 I'm not sure that the slavery issue was as pr predominant as uh, as other economic issues were. Uh, well, I'm sure to the slaves that was the predominant issue. Well, to the <laughs> slaves, uh, right? But they. I don't believe that the battle that Lee was representing might have uh, had as much to do with slavery as it did with other economic issues you know it, the slavery happened to ride on that on the issue and i don't think that the north was specifically uh trying to free the slaves as much as it was an, an economic issue between the north and the south and slavery just happened to be part well, of it. as far i i don't think other uh, African Americans will get upset if I uh, make a statement that represent all African Americans. As far as I'm concerned, that's what it's about. And you can apologize and sure. say whatever you want. And those statues need to be taken down. They need to go. Just like and and Germany has shown what needs to happen when you have sure. people who are uh, against other people. Can we can I do use, that here. You you made a statement about seeing a lot of uh, Confederate flags. 
Uh, now, were, was it the same amount of Confederate flags out there, but you weren't looking for them before? Trust me, if you're an African American, you pay attention. To this. <laughs> it might mean your life. And, yeah. and, and yeah. it got worse. When Trump was running, you'd see a Trump sign, a Confederate flag right beside it. So that lets me yeah. know who, and he knows who he was appealing to. Patrick's got his hand up. Patrick. Patrick, for some reason, your your microphone is is keep is not is not pumping you up. Um, okay. So get a little closer to it, okay? Yeah. A little better. Yeah. I don't know. It just it. There's in a. School. I hear a setting noise. Yeah. yeah. When when when, Ms. when it, it MR came on, it it seems that's Mar echoing Marcella. Here. It's Marcella. Uh, she might have some room noise. Patrick, isn't there a uh, a setting in Skype uh, for the microphone? Yeah, I, I've already taken care of that. So oh. now, you sound good. now you sound good. Yeah. I was not muted, and I'm muted now. Okay. <laughs> hey. <Right>. Yeah. <laughs> anyway. Am I done? We can hear you. We have nine on a Saturday. <laughs> One more <laughs> <the> full house. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um... One, one of the things, or the main issue with Lee um, that I've read, and I've read a few biographies of him, um, was his state of Virginia. That, that was his main thing. Is he could not take up arms against his own state or his own family. So, um, and remember, he, he was not the, the general of the Confederacy. He would the Army of Northern Virginia. So his he may be the most famous, but he I mean his his deal was his state, his family. Um, it fought in the Civil War. I do believe it fought over slavery, but I also believe it was economic. And I I do tend to agree with Phil for the North. I think the North was more concerned with keeping the Union together than. Emancipation Proclamation. Yes. I think that became something of a rally toward the end of the Civil War when we knew after Gettysburg that the South was going to fall. Well, there's some people. Um, there were some people who feel that it was an economic sanction against the South, the Emancipation Pro Proclamation. That it wasn't so much a. Uh, do you do, would you disagree with me on this, Carter? That it it was uh, more a an act of uh, of of really trying to hit the the south uh with a economic blow than anything else there wasn't like yeah, i would he, agree with yeah yeah i would agree with it that. wasn't and that's what i was saying yeah, yeah that's and you, what i was saying and you when, were right uh, in saying that yeah 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 mm -hmm. uh yes pa patrick and then as far as the statue goes my thought is this the only place that lee's statue should be it what are two places uh, Stone Mountain, Georgia, where it's already carved in its side in the mountain, Stonewall Jackson, Lee, and I forget, but Beauregard or, or another general, but at Lee and Washington University, that's the only place that there should be a statue honoring Lee because Lee actually founded that university. Everywhere else, if you have Confederate statues, they should be in the cemeteries or, as they're doing with this statue with Lee, you put it in a museum or on, you know, uh, property for a museum. It does not need to be out in the public for, you know, out in the town square and that. I mean, they lost. That that That's the thing. When you lose a war, you don't get to keep claiming we're here, you know. <laughs> So uh, let me see here, uh, Marcella. You just called us. What 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 are your thoughts on any of this? Uh, you've been listening. Where's your green screen? Um, <laughs> I'm actually related to Robert E. Lee, so it's kind of. You, you better talk. You talk talk more into your phone. Well, you talk, you're on the phone. You're on the you're on the phone, right, Marcella? You're on the phone, right? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Well, talk talk more into the phone. Talk more in the phone. We can't hear you that well. Better. No. Are you use Are you using the speakerphone? Hello. Hello. That she might have plugged something in. Uh, well, who who knows what's going on there? Yeah. Um, 
So you know, uh, I live in uh, I live in Virginia, Northern Virginia, and every highway and every school is named after you know John Mosby and Jubal Early and all all of these you know these these generals from uh, from the Civil War. It's uh, you know they don't have the monuments here, but everything is you're reminded constantly of of all of these people. Yeah. Um, so uh, anyway, it, it, it's just you know I didn't think that we were going to see this kind of thing again, but we're seeing it now. We're seeing the Klan making its presence known. We're seeing the American Nazis making their presence known. In Germany, we're seeing the Nazis making a resurrect, a, 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 you know, a resurrection as well. And I don't. They know, keep uh, saying that. They keep right. saying that about Germany, but it never happens. You know, well, it yeah, never happens. I, 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 every decade, somebody says, "Oh, there's a resurgence." You know. Well, it went from you're not even allowed to sell. Uh, a piece of Nazi memorabilia. Well, you never were. To, you never were. Well, no, no. There, there were, you know, iron crosses and all of that stuff, and you couldn't buy them in stores in Germany. Right. Uh, now, all of a sudden, they're appearing. Uh, you know, it's just a uh, uh, an indication of uh, of uh, more of Nazism in, in Europe. There is a rise of in Nazism, and uh, maybe that same rise. Is 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 fueling the Nazism here? Yeah, well, it could be. No, Trump is fueling the Nazism here. Uh, you, you, you you do feel like, like well, but I what I've said the argument I always used to use Carter was that uh, he's given people a sense of permission. Yes, and that's the worst thing you can do. That is that is that is gives us a very unhealthy situation here in America. Uh, when you, and, he sends and, dog whistles. He sends dog whistles to mm -hmm. those pe type of people. You know that it's okay. It's okay. It, yeah, it's all right to uh, to engage in this bad behavior. Yeah, and, and he's appointed some to his cabinet. That's who he but listens to. But that's not he, what he said today. He said it wasn't okay. You know, uh, maybe he didn't come out strong enough uh, for some people, but it was the strongest that he's come out uh, at to date uh, against uh, all violence. Phil, move your camera a little more to the left. You're you're almost blind. There you go. There we. You think there this is go. a hangover for having eight years of a black president? No, I don't think so. Yes. He invoked, uh, <laughs> he invoked uh, uh, Obama in in a in a speech today. Uh, you know, uh, himself, uh, Bush, and and Obama. Well, I, I don't know if it was Bush, but I, he he invoked Obama's name uh, yeah. in that speech. Yeah. Tony, they're coming to get you. They're rioting in, in uh, Brooklyn Beach. now, in Queens. <laughs> is, is, that, is that coming from your neck of the woods there, Tony? No, actually, no. I'm quiet here. Then I'm maybe then wait, who, had the, who had the sirens? Maybe it was Marcella, yeah. just as she hung up. Maybe she's getting running away from the cops. I don't know. Right now, it's quiet in my area. Yeah. yeah. Uh, let's yeah. see here. What time is it? Oh, boy. Wow, I, I just was going to do this for an hour and see how it would go, but <laughs> you got up to nine people. Yeah. yeah, oh yeah, and we got a lot of people watching on uh, the the winner is Facebook Live for a number of viewers. Yeah, uh, then uh, the least is on Periscope, uh, and tr uh, uh, YouTube, eh, you know, and live stream is second. Uh, so that's the. Uh, that's what's going on here. Uh, Wait, Alex, yes. that gets back to the question I was going to ask earlier. Yeah. So uh, when you go on to Facebook, a notification goes out to everyone who's your friend because you're, this is going out from your personal page, right? Yeah, there are. Uh, I, there's a difference. So it's not. Fr I, I don't know if it's the friends or the followers. Uh, so, okay. there, there, so, is a, that, there is a difference. I have 5,000 friends, which is the limit that I can have, the maximum right. I can have. But I also have 1,962 followers. Isn't oh, everybody okay. a friend also a follower? No. Or can, no, there's a uh, difference. No. You can choose to follow us. For instance, if you're listening to us right now and you're enjoying what you hear, uh, follow me on Facebook. Okay. Now, I, if you want to be a friend, you ask to be a friend, but anybody can follow me. So, mm -hmm. yeah. It's just what Alex posts. Uh, if, if, 
his only his post to the public he got seen by his friends uh, by the followers yeah anything that posts just to friends family just gets seen to friends yeah so yeah it's it's confusing to me because i think that we have uh we have uh, taken the words uh, like uh friends and diluted it quite a bit in the society um and and followers eh, hitler had followers so you know <laughs> I, you know i don't know i don't know if it's a good thing um when i was on when i was watching you on youtube originally like uh, before i called in there were four other it said four people were following you at the time on youtube yeah uh, that doesn't mean that when we're through, there won't be a total of more than that. But it, it, at this given time, what was it? Is it? Uh, I know I can't tell. There, here, here we go. There are five watching right now. Uh, I don't understand exactly how the analytics work on this because if you look at uh, Facebook Live, it says like 12 people. When I get off tonight and I close this thing off and it just goes to the file. I'll find I have about 300 people that watched it. So mm -hmm. it's, it's very strange. You have no, I have no idea how you figure out the analytics on this stuff. Uh, although, although, I got to tell you, it's, it's very humbling to have some idea of who's, how many people are actually listening to you because when you did radio, you just assumed, you know. Mm -hmm. I, I mean, I, you know, I, I, I get a better response on this show. I think uh, uh, Patrick goes back with me to serious i actually get more people reacting to this show and calling this show than i ever got on the radio program you know some days if there was a real issue i guess we would get a lot of people but you know some days you'd be sitting there begging for callers I, I remember even when you were at Camel and I was clearing the calls yeah. uh it, it was you know the lines would light up you know, uh, what was there, six lines? And, uh, you know, I'm going between the lines trying to figure out who was funny and then telling you which, which line to pick up. Yeah. You know? But, you but, know, but uh, still, uh, I've worked a national program, like a national talk show. And mm -hmm. uh, I, uh, I, I literally sat there waiting for calls. I mean, this thing, and this thing was syndicated to like 150 radio stations, and nobody's calling. Yeah. <laughs> wow. You know, yeah. so at least I don't have that problem. You know, so. Well, I used to try calling you when you were on MCA and PLJ, and it was always tough to get through. Yeah, yeah, uh, that was because I spilled coffee on the phone. Uh, <laughs> yeah, what, what, what are you looking at there, uh, Rob? I'm just uh, looking at the com at the guide. That's all. Nothing. At the guide. Oh, on the TV. Oh, with this, yeah. Oh, oh, oh that's your remote the, control. The oh, that's your remote control. Yeah. Yeah, so, Alex, uh, you didn't uh, care for the new, uh, the first uh, uh, show in the second season of Dice? I, I thought it was kind of soft. I didn't think it was that good. I thought it was okay, but it wasn't that good. I thought the first season he did was really uh, yeah, I, very was good. And for me to say that uh, yeah. is, uh, is going a long way because I was never a big fan of his. I was always a fan of his as an actor. Yeah, but not as a uh, not as a, uh, uh, a, a as a comedian. I thought he b went out and basically bought an act, and uh, you know, uh, uh, well, it, it, you, know. you know, I, I I thought he was more human, uh, you know, and you know when they put him in the position and he's dealing with well, the no, rabbi. What no, what they, no, what they're dealing with here, the whole show is on the premise that he's kind of a failed comic. And, right. and he's now he's living in Las Vegas with his wife, and he's trying to get a career back. And he's he's a very likable character. This one, this yep. one you like. Mm -hmm. uh, and I didn't think the show was bad. I just didn't think it was up to the par of last year. So yeah, well, you know, they try to uh, do one of those things like uh, what was it the ghost of uh, Christmas past? You know, if you were never here, you know, what would uh, how would everybody else have turned well, out? You're, you're talking about well, it's a wonderful life. Yeah, right. if you if you never lived, what how would the world be? And right. um, uh, I was going to do a version of "It's a Wonderful Life" when I was at the, in, at Camel in San Francisco, or not Camel, came out, but Live One Hundred Five. And I was going to do a thing with me doing "It's a Wonderful Life" with me in the James Stewart version, except the only twist at the end is everybody's life would have been a hell of a lot better. 
<laughs> yeah, well, that uh, so what Dice found out was that their lives weren't better because he wasn't in it. And uh, yeah, yeah, you're right. It was a little soft. Uh, it, it was it was a tough thing to try and. Uh, well, I'm just uh, saying. I'm just saying that the show is a good show. It was a good show. Anybody see this last year? Anybody? I, yes, I did. I did. Yeah. What yes. did, What did you th did. What What did you think of it last I, year? Good. Yeah, I enjoyed. I enjoyed it a lot. And I, like you, was never the biggest Dice fan in the world, but yeah. I I did enjoy the show. I thought it humanized him. Mm -hmm. And I thought I actually liked the one, you know, for the, the, the first one of the second season. I, I So did I. Yeah, I, I thought it was it was an interesting premise. And, uh, you know, but again, it humanized him. Uh, I, I enjoy that aspect of it. But now you'll, and have, I, and now you'll, have, and now you'll have to wait for a couple of weeks uh, for the next one, because that yeah. is a preview that they have up on Showtime. Oh, uh, nice. And the same thing is true but of episodes. A, they have a new version of episodes. It's a full episode, but I say it's a preview. Oh, okay. You know, and they're going to have that up for about three weeks until the, the actual show goes on uh, for its second episode. They also did the same thing with episodes. I don't know if you watch episodes, but that's a great little show. Uh, no, I haven't yet, but I, it looked like it was going to be a good one. Yeah. You know, one thing I like about the Skype here is that I can actually... Um, uh, I have to go back and forth between the people, but sometimes I have two of you on the screen at a time. Did we lose somebody here? Uh, we lost Marcella. We lost Marcella, but did we lose somebody else? Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. No. Oh, really? We oh, have okay. Eight. We yeah. have eight? Wait a minute. Oh, I guess. Oh, I see. You're not on the screen when I don't. Oh, uh, wait a minute. Where Where are you on here? Oh, uh, there you are. There, um, oh, there you are. There you are. I it must be covered up by your picture on the on uh, the Facebook, but I'm on the oh, screen. Oh, I see. Skype. Yeah, when I when I put somebody on screen, like Patrick's on screen now, he's not on the strip below, so that's why I didn't count them. Uh, and at the very bottom, it says in very little letters who the person is. You know, like Tony Magno, and uh, uh, geez, he said I can put remove from group. No, I won't do that. Uh, yeah. Anyway. Um, well, you know, he's not on the screen, but uh, or on the strip, but he might be on the uh, yeah, stripper no. pole. He's, yeah. <laughs> uh, so I'm. I'm the strip, you can move left and right. Yeah. Next Friday, um, we're going. Slide. Next Friday, we're going up to Vermont, where, okay. where I can uh, hang out with Bernie Sanders. Yeah, sure. Like, uh, I stayed at a house where Bar Bernie Sanders celebrated his 40th birthday. Well, that's yeah. certain. What a coincidence. It was uh, before Washington slept there. Yeah, wait a minute. Here's Marcella. Wait a minute. Let me hang up on her and call her back now. Uh, this is this is the way you got. Are you going to get some ice cream up there, Alex? Uh, and I'm going to go see. I'm going to go see Bernie now. Uh, in fact, the people. Hello, Marcella. Are you there again? Hi. Yes. Can you hear me? Yeah. Where are you? At home now? Yes. There, Sorry about there that. we go. Now we can see Marcella. See, there she is. Screen behind her. Yeah. I do. I don't have anything up on it. Uh, she has a green screen in the back. Uh, uh, Phil's very jealous of that because he could never get his working. Uh, uh, yeah. I need the right software, and I just haven't taken the time to deal with it. Yeah. yeah. Well, mine's a little funky today. Well, there's some stuff on either side of you. Have you got yourself masked? Yeah, let me turn it off. I kind of got the atomic bomb going on in the background. <laughs> oh, I see. Oh, oh. Yes. and we just lost her. Yeah. We oh. just lost her. Oh, well. It's, uh, the atomic bomb blew up? Hey, you know, for a show that was supposed to just be a test tonight, this has been kind of fun. And uh, it, it's a proof of the, you know, allowed me to learn how to work this, uh, this whole system here. Uh, I think probably we're going to wind up calling. Oh, I'm going to hear she comes. Is it her again? Yep. Okay, let me hang up. And then I got to call her back because that's the only way I can get people on with this Fakakta Skype uh, system. Uh, Marcella, and add to call, Skype. Uh, there we go. And now she's, uh, she's we're, we're ringing her and she just came back in. Hello, Marcella. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to bring problem child this evening. See, what I, ha what I have to do when I, uh, with, this, uh, with this Skype system on, on the Mac is I, ha boy, that sucks. It really, in a lot of ways. But the, what I have to do is I have to uh, call you back when you call. 
it, I can't just add you to the group. It's ridiculous. So, Marcella, yeah. if you uh, move, move uh, yourself over, uh, there. Robert E. Lee happened to have won, that would have put you in a in a better position. Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> we just have a little more land in the state of Virginia, probably. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. But we're about ready to call this a, a wrap here because we uh, we we've been doing this for. I was only going to do it for an hour. It's my day off for crying out loud, you know. <laughs> uh, but I I want to thank. Yeah, but how long have how long have you been in the studio playing with all this before you even decided well, to test it? Let's not even talk about that. Yeah, I'd say yeah, I I'd say about that today. I'd say working this out has taken about three weeks. Okay, and there's still wow. stuff I haven't worked out. Uh, there is another thing where Phil, Phil could, we were trying this one night, and he was calling me using the system that's built into the live stream system, where he calls, uh, he goes online to a certain thing, and then yeah, I can yeah, you link yeah, and then I I just bring him up on screen. But we had trouble with an echo like we had earlier. But maybe I've solved the problem. Well, you know? what do you think you did to solve it tonight? I turned off a whole bunch of stuff. Oh, okay. You know? So, you know. Well, anyway, I want to thank Patrick. See, I can show each of them individually. I want to thank Carter. Carter, we don't hear from you, but on a Saturday night, we get you, right? Yeah, you should call more often. Right. You really should call more <laughs> often. You're terrific, Carter. I will. Okay. Marcella, always good to hear from you. Marshall, uh, you're pixelating a lot, but you but uh, you got some good thoughts, so that's that's cool. Phil, of course, we thank you as always for being the uh, Newell Post of our program. <laughs> Whatever a Newell Post is, Rob, it's, it's, it's the it's the big post on a first step. Is it really? Yeah, that holds up the uh, handrail. Oh, really? That's a Newell Post. Yeah. Oh well, I learned something doing this program today. Uh, Rob Alfano, thank you as always, and of course, Tom Yamaguchi. It's, really terrific and I, I you know it was a good test it it because of the difference in the skype on a mac as opposed to the skype that i normally use i'm able to give you all put you up all full screen and stuff it's a little more work for me but it looks it looks pretty good i'm 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 not unhappy with it. what i'm unhappy with is that i can't answer the calls i have to hang up and then call back but outside well, of that you know it worked out. Since okay. it was more work for you, I, I say let's double your salary. I, okay, more cabinet bucks. Is that what you're talking yeah, about? Okay. <laughs> hey, everybody, wave goodbye, will you? Okay. Bye. All right. <laughs> bye bye. Uh, there we go. And here I am. And let me get rid of all of them. Uh, there we go. I just got rid of all of them. Ah, and let me turn my Skype off. And uh, boy, I, I've had the Skype up tonight. Like it, it, the way I have to do it here is like a full screen. And uh, of course, when I don't have that screen up, here's the screen that's up. This is my this is my computer screen, my regular computer screen. And if you want me to now, some porn. No, uh, let me go back to this. Uh, anyway, uh, I just wanted to say that uh, uh, thank everybody for putting up with me with this little uh, experiment. Um, it was a, uh, I think, a suitable experiment actually, and I think it worked out okay, you know. And it could have worked out a little better, but you know, we did this to to be able to figure out exactly how to do it and how to make it work. And so uh, we thank you all for joining us. Uh, 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 wait a minute. Oh, wait a minute. Why is it? Hold on a second. Where? Why is that saying two? Is something else playing me? No. Huh. This is not working. Wait a minute. Hold on a second. I've got to stop something here. What is this? Why, what, what is playing? Oh, I know it's probably playing. No? Huh. This is weird. This is, uh, okay. My theme that won't play. The damn theme won't play. What is wrong with that? Okay. Well, I'll figure it out later. It says two, so something else is up. What is this? God, I, none of it makes sense. Okay, well, let me get rid of this all together. And uh, then let me bring it up again. And I think uh, maybe I'll be able to do it a little better now. Let me see here what, uh, what happens. Can I play it now? There we go. There was something wrong with my, with my system here. 
Anyway, hey, listen, uh, that's it for tonight. Uh, I'm Alex Bennett. There's nothing after us because this wasn't on uh, this wasn't on Gabnet. Let me also turn to the other camera here. Uh, hold on a second. Ah, yeah, let me turn to the other camera here. Okay, there we are. Anyway, I got a camera here and I got a camera there, and you know, I I, I had a lot to learn tonight. So I hope you enjoyed it. It actually wasn't a bad show. And you also got to hear all the bells and whistles of what goes on when you're trying to make something work. Anyway, I'm Alex Bennett. That's it for tonight. See you on Tuesday, everybody. And in the meantime, if you see her, tell her I love her, okay? Bye.